16 years old and three months puppy. Actually, almost four months. 16 years and four months. So 16 and a third. 16 and a third years old, Omar. Live to be Nancy Kearns had to euthanize her beloved O Otto. She made that agonizing decision. You no know, longer had quality of life. And what she said at the end of her beautiful tribute article to him was, was either way it was going to be painful for me. Painful if I didn't euthanize them. Painful if I did. And that's how it should be. There should be that high of a cost because what, what he they give you is priceless. The fun, the companionship, the love everything is priceless so the price you pay they call it like the greatest gift you can give them and it still goes back to Whether or not you, you have to, whether or not it's time, you know. It's okay to be selfish. Nancy, Nancy told the whole story of how she ended up getting him as a stray and, and who he was and, and she got him at the shelter and just the unique things that made him him. They all have their own personalities. That's Mama's thumb, that's not food. Balling read in the article, balling read in the 115 comments below it. I haven't even known on him that long. I, I saved all the whole dog journals. I didn't save the ones where they're trying to sell me stuff. I saved all the ones with articles. So I don't know how long I've subscribed. But periodically there were things about Otto and her other dogs. Obviously an article caught my eye and she was talking about that. She almost had to euthanize him nine months ago. She talks about that in the tribute to him, or has pictures of him.
You're like Mama's puppy when you eat. You're like you're still a puppy. You're like you're still my Omar. You're still a puppy. And pictures and videos of you moms. Have you in them in some way? Probably do, because he's a lap dog. He doesn't want to be alone, so when he used to roam the house, he'd want to be with my mom when she was making videos. Right? I even have a video where you were blind as a bat. And still instinctively jumped up on my lap. Un surreal, like 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 thing. Just the most surreal thing. Blind as a bat, and knew I was sitting there in the kitchen on the chair, and he jumped up on my lap. Startled me, that's for sure. He did it by instinct, because he can't see me, he can't see my lap. He could have missed, but he didn't. He, he jumped on my lap. I have so many videos. I have videos of you and old Angel running around this house. and Grandma was just told after the fact that Angel had been put down after they paid over a thousand dollars to try to save her. She had a lot more health problems. Omar's just got the blindness and then recently the the, the dementia, Alzheimer's, whatever, canine. But also, the bad thing is he can't stand. No, life always is. If Omar, everything would be fine if he could just accept the fact that he he can't stand up. He can't stand up when he's in like a lying down position, which he goes into to sleep. Sometimes he can still stand up if he's not in a lying down position. I've seen it happen where he springs up. He can still walk, even on his own without a leash. I'll put him out on the deck real fast because I don't want him to go in the bathroom. I mean, don't have time to put the leash on him. Take the time to put the harness and leash on him and he goes to the bathroom on me. And he can walk around the deck for a little bit, a little fall. And if he could just accept in the darn pen that he can't get up, but his brain causes him to want to get up and cry. Your nipple was fine. Your nipple went back to normal completely, Oz. Completely, completely it went back to normal. It looks like cancer, it's not. I didn't think I'd see that nipple back to normal. It did, it went back to normal. Whether it was time, you know, it's either just time passed or the, 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 it was probably the Neosporin ointment that did it. Probably just a little infected, nothing major, and it, he dodged a bullet again, Holmes. Every time something like that happens, though, I think I'm gonna, it's going to be bad and I'm going to put you to sleep. And then I cry and it hasn't even happened. I cried the thought. One of these days it will be though. Highly unlikely I'll be fortunate enough that you just live to be a long old age and just die in your sleep. That very rarely happens, I bet. I bet more often pet owners have to, either the, the dog gets really sick and you take him to the bed and there's like nothing we can do, like what happened with Angel, you need to euthanize him, or you have to 
be in a situation like Nancy Kern's whole dog journal editor for a long, long, long time. And put your own selfish needs, put your dog's quality of life ahead of your, or your own selfish needs and make that agonizing decision. She did not make that easily and now she's second guessing herself. Was it, should I done it? is in those kind of situations there's no way to know there are plenty of people who tell me I should euthanize my own right now my vet says I don't have to because she disagrees I never asked her if she had dogs. I guess, I guess, because you don't really get personal with the doctors, even with bed sores, you don't get personal with them. You're just talking about, they're, you're paying them, and you're talking about your pet, you know? You don't really get personal with doctors. Maybe some people do. I don't even know. My mom doesn't even know if I don't know if a 15 year primary care physician is married with kids in my school. So maybe some people get personal with their doctors. I don't. I don't. Especially since you're so limited on time, you just have you have to focus on your baby. You could tell them personal things about you. such as, I don't want to euthanize Omer, it's going to kill me. There are people who say you should if the dog can't stand up anymore on its own. There are people who say you should just if it has dementia. Oh. Your baby. It, you're not an it. You're my baby. You never even had any kids. You're my baby. and back. Hell and back been through with this dog. Another thing, how do you know? That's another thing I don't know. How do you know if they're, how do you determine if, if the animal's in pain? If they don't cry, how do you even know they're in pain? I don't know. I don't know. The fact is, Omer's walks are very, very limited just to, so his muscles don't atrophy. You know, so he still has his front, front paws working. And he could be in pain and I don't know it. I don't know. His walks are very limited, that's for sure. He sometimes will go straight and walk normally and other times he spins around like they do when they have dementia. He doesn't want to walk. But he, he can still walk on his own. But there are lots of dogs who can't walk on their own and then they, for mobility, they get them a, a wheelchair and they, those people still keep their dogs alive. So the question, the, that begs the question, like, if they can't walk any longer, they certainly can't stand up. So, are they just dogs that are, they accept it, and they don't sit there and like Omer and just endlessly try to stand up and cry, even though they're not going anywhere. I don't know. I don't have anyone to talk to about it. I just know they're pet parents, especially when they have a younger dog that needs it. They have wheelchair and that dog has to accept that when it's not in its wheelchair, it can't, if it's just sleeping, 
it has to accept that it can't get up, just like Oma, but he won't accept it, and he cries. And he cries even after he's gone to the bathroom, so he's not crying because he has to go to the bathroom. He's crying just because he, his brain goes in a loop where he can't accept that he can't get up. That's how he ended up sleeping three hours with me because I needed to sleep. And he fell fast asleep with me once I grabbed him out of the cage. And he didn't have to struggle to stand up for pointless. And you went right to sleep for three whole hours with Mama. Yes, you did. Kind of an awkward position for me with you under my arm, but I was so happy that you were actually sleeping and snoring and that I tolerated it and I fell asleep myself. Is that yummy? Is that the yummiest thing, Oma? Is that the yummy, yummy, yummy I can love in my tummy, huh? With all your special supplements. I trust the company. I trust the ingredients, and I believe they are helping you. That's the bottom line, really. No way to know for sure. There's no way to know for sure that all the supplements I take are, are doing anything, but I believe in them and I take them. That's simple. And what we do know is you you can you can still walk. Before I started giving you supplements, it includes a joint natural supplement. It has all that good crap in it. Before I started giving you that, you were... I feel like you were... Like not able to even walk, like falling down immediately. So I believe it's helping. They are helping. Five different supplements that work synergistically. I just believe in it. Probiotics and prebiotics, enzymes. I just know he's had perfect, perfect bowel movements. And that's been for a long time now. Month after month after month. You have been having the most perfect bowel movements, Omar. Perfect bowel movements. I think it's the good core wellness food. And I especially think it's all these 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 select supplements from Dog Naturally, Four Leaf Rover. And I'm going to get you the CBD because it has health benefits. Plus, it'll knock you out, relax your brain. I should take mine, mine that I've never opened. I like the feeling of being drunk or intoxicated. I don't think a little dropper full of CBD, even high potency CBD, is going to do diddly squat for me. Um, come on, stand up. Stand up. Stand up. I know you can. You just don't want to. I, I know you can stand up because you do it out on the deck. 
you don't not you know you're not on a leash and you don't fall down. So. I don't know, maybe you do it because you have to. Whereas in here you know you don't have to. Here you know mama's right here. Mama's right here catching ya. Is that the yummiest thing, baby? Huh? Is that yummy? Oh, I want to get to the end of it so messy. I hate to have it wasted on my fingers instead of going into your little pug body. <laughs>